Wham Cam, sponsored by your local Honda dealers. It's time to go wham! Alrighty, folks, I'm hanging out with Dan. Hello. Not just any Dan. This guy took meteorology intro in, uh, in college, Penn State, right? Yeah, Penn State's Scranton. Hail season is here, summer thunderstorms. At what speed does hail fall from the sky? Don't answer yet. It's time to go wham, baby! Is it, is it faster right now than I'm running when it falls from the sky? I mean, is it faster than three, four, five miles an hour? I mean, so 200 miles an hour. Hail, hail falling from the sky, 200 MPH. 200 miles an hour. Woo. Slower, 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 slower. 120 miles an hour. Slower. Three. So here we contractor supplies. We got trademark industrial Anthony Mattioli. Yeah. All right, now you have to answer the question. Okay, what's the question? How fast does hail fall from the sky, potentially to damage your vehicle? I overheard you guys before. You should have played dumb and then just went along with it. Oh, <laughs> man. Uh, <laughs> you can't see that. There you 62 go. 62 miles an hour. Did you ever have hail damage in your car? No. Consider insurance fraud? No. <laughs> the answer is no. No the is the answer. No. The answer is no. <laughs> Don't you want to know now? I do look, want to know. Look at the face yes. on the You want to know. And I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I'll drop one of those boxes on me just to simulate, just to simulate the whole thing. So. Sea salt or Italian herb? I'm going to go with Italian herb. Here we go. <laughs> it turns out hail that's about an inch in diameter, which is actually still pretty big or smaller. 10, 20 miles per hour. Oh, that's quicker than I thought. But big hail, three, four inches in diameter, 50. 60, 70 miles an hour? That, my friend, is a little something we call a wham! You were practicing. I watch it all the time. I sit on my couch, wham, wham, and then my dog's like, what's going on? What's going on?